Hey there teachers! Have you ever tried to share a YouTube video with your students only to have them tell you, hey teacher, I can't see it, it's blocked, it's restricted, or something of that nature? Well, you're not the only one. In schools, many times in the Google Workspace environment, the administrators will set it up so that students have a more restricted experience than teachers. And so teachers can see videos that students can't. And when you send the students that video, they can't see it. Well, I'm Patrick Green, author of 50 Ways to Use YouTube in the Classroom. And in this video, I want to show you how that restriction system works and how you can approve videos before you share them with your students so that they can see them. Let's dive in. All right, so I'm in a school district account right now, and I'm signed in in YouTube and you can see up here in the upper right uh, here is my that's my name at this school district and the settings for this Google Workspace account are such that as a teacher I have more rights and permissions to view videos on YouTube than students so the way that works is administrators administrating your network and your Google Workspace can set up restricted access for students it can be really strict where it's blocking out a lot of content on YouTube and only allowing things that are nearly for sure educationally relevant. Or it can be more moderate restriction where more videos are getting through the filter, but it's continuing to block out the most objectionable stuff. And then of course you could not have the restrictions on. And so typically a setup might be that whether or not students have strict or moderate levels of restriction, teachers would be still allowed to see everything on YouTube. Teachers would also have the ability to approve videos so that they could be included in what students can see. So as an example, let's take a look at a channel called Crash Course. They, they make great educational content. So let's check out Crash Course. Here's their channel. Like here's some videos, but I'm going to go to their channel. And you can see that this channel is approved and I have a remove button which which I'm not going to do uh, but but the channel's already approved that means every video here is searchable for students but now let's go over to uh, National Geographic and let's take a look at this channel you can see that this channel right here is not approved for this organization but as a teacher I could approve the entire channel now by a teacher approving a channel, it does not make those videos searchable by students, but it makes all of the videos on that channel able to be shared to students, whether it's a link through Google Classroom or embedded in a slide deck, and students would be able to see those. So that's approving a whole entire channel. Okay, so here's my channel, and teachers, I'm a teacher account. I have the ability to remove this channel if I found it objectionable. I could do that and notice what happens I can approve the channel when it's currently not approved so I could approve the channel now I could share this link to students and they could get here I could also uh, any one of these videos so let's click on a video and um, you'll notice that it's an in a channel approved so that I could now share this URL with my students and they would be able to see this video. Let's go back to the National Geographic example and I'm gonna click on the channel here. And as a teacher, I don't want to approve the entire channel here in this instance because I know that there might be some things on the National Geographic channel that some grade levels don't want to uh, allow their students to see. And so I might know though that this is a absolutely fantastic video that I want specific video that I want my students to see and so I might approve this one video so that I can share it with my students at my grade level and again I would just use the share button grab the link and fire that off to my students however I want to do that Google Classroom in an email in a document whatever and they would be able to see it so that's how the restriction system works in YouTube, in Google Workspace, in many schools. If you are a teacher and you don't have the ability to approve videos, you might ask your technology department to allow you to have that ability to approve videos because you're sharing a lot of great stuff with your students and some of it is blocked by the YouTube 
uh, automatic filter and you want to be able to share more cool stuff with your students. All right, I hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to check out our other videos on my channel about using YouTube in the classroom. All right, have a great day.